Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's Let's Play of Orcs and Men. Let's Play of Orcs and Men, part number nine. I am Zaxor, your host. Thanks for joining me. In the last part, we put down a goblin rebellion. Well, kind of. They basically went berserk. Uh, so they were kind of out of control. It wasn't really that they were rebelling so much as they were just out of control. So anyway, we, uh, we fought them, sadly, and had to kill a bunch of goblins. Kind of sucks. Uh, Arkel doesn't care, but I'm sure Styx pretends not to care, but I'm guessing Styx is not a big fan of murdering his own people, despite what he says. Anyway, so um, <coughs> Monkey had asked us, he is, where is he? He's up there, I think. Over there, there we go. Monkey up there asked us to take care of that problem, so we dealt with that. So now, uh, now we are ready finally to go undertake Sarkis's quest, which is to go down uh, into like the sewers, I think, or something like that, and fight a bunch of Inquisition and make them pay, make them burn. And once they burn and they smell the burning flesh up above at Sarkis's camp, then he'll know we did our job that he asked us to do, and he'll be willing to take us out of this town and where we need to go. So... Let's, this is Raven. He will take us to where we need to go to engage in killing Inquisition. So, here we go. So, you going or what? After you. I apologize if my voice gets too loud in this. It's hard to tell because, it, to me, it sounds like on playback that my voice is really quiet compared to the game volume. Or no, sorry, the game volume is really quiet compared to my voice. So I try to raise that, but I don't know how good, it, how well it turns out, how good of a job I end up doing. So your feedback is really appreciated. Help me know. There you go. The chapel is right there. Nice bonfire material. It's gonna be hell in there. And it seems the disciples are inside. The Grand Inquisitor's gonna be pissed, guys. You'd better not hang around. I'll wait for you here. Don't worry about us. We going, pal? Finally, they're gonna pay in blood. Hey, snap out of it. We're on a mission, remember? We're not here to bathe in blood. But... The Inquisition tramples our beliefs and denies our existence. They want to wipe my people off the face of the world. Ah, play me another sad song and I'll cry on your shoulder. You talk too much, Rakash. I warned you. What? Wait, hey, wait, take it easy. Calm down. You're going to be needing it. That guy's a serious nutcase. Our kill's like almost out of control already, and he hasn't even fought them yet. Nice. Does this mean we're in battle already? In combat? Can't tell. I guess they were just wandering. I was like, are we in combat already? First thing we get in here, we're like, already time to fight stuff. Huh. Uh, okay, so... Let's, I don't even know how much of an opportunity for stealth we're going to be having, right? But... At least our call is... Our Kale is waiting. Or our, our Kyle. Anyway, at least our Kyle's waiting, right? right versus totally going ballistic on me where he's out of control. Uh, whoops. I hit the wrong button. I hit control instead of shift. Can I not talk to you? Probably not. Alright. Can't go around either, apparently. Uh, Alright, well, there must not, not be anything up there to do anyway. Alright, so we'll go around this way. So there are a lot of aspects about this game that I really enjoy, and there are some things I... I don't know that I would say they frustrate me. That's not the right word. They don't. Just some things that kind of I notice, and I wish they had done a little bit better job with them. Um, that said, I mean, they do a good job overall, I think. So I'm not at all 
you know, giving this game like a bad rating or something based on that. I'm just... There were some... I think using the spider engine, so they didn't... You know, silk, so they didn't have to uh, develop their own engine or anything. Combined with... Combined with the sheer fact that, uh, you know, they have, well, I don't know, right, uh, scheduling-wise, what their release schedule was, was, but it feels like they had a little bit longer to release this. So yeah, anyway, I was just trying to say basically that, um, you know, they had an opportunity, I think, to improve upon things that they had done with the Game of Thrones that maybe uh, were less appreciated by people who had played that game, you know, some, some flaws they'd seen or something. Anyway, there was a small opportunity there, and I think they kind of missed it a little bit, unfortunately. Uh, to, to fix some problems and to, to improve on dialogue and things like that. And I just, it's unfortunate, but I think they kind of missed out. So, But there are some really good things about this. I, and I know there are some of, my, some of the, you guys watching this that are going to disagree with me on this. I know for a fact, because you've said as much, that you feel differently than I do. You didn't say, oh, I don't agree with you, Zexor, but you basically express an opinion that differs from mine. But I believe that um, there are... Are there only two guys there? <laughs> I like took out half the guys already. Uh, that worries me. Are there archers? Snipers of any kind? That's not looking cool, but okay. Anyway, uh, but I actually, in some ways, I kind of like the, pot, the the system they've developed here for combat. Mainly because you are you have two people and you're controlling both of them. And so the best way to do that, I think, really, honestly, is to do kind of the system they've decided to use. So. Alright, Arkale. Why are you not coming? Dude, seriously. Pause. You... Where's the dog? Yeah, take the dog out, right? One, two. One, two. And then you will go on it also. And we're going to have you go five, six, five, six. Did I not do five even? Wow. All right. Uh, one, one, I guess. And then you. Yeah, you just keep attacking. You got to attack still. Uh, seven is your stun, right? Five. Whoops, five. Five. Cancel that. One. Bleed? Haha. <laughs> nice. Totally bleed. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do find that, though, the, I like their combat system. I actually find it a strength in some ways. Just because it's unique, you don't have this kind of combat system all that often. Um, and I think uh, they do a pretty good job with it. I think um, it makes sense when you have two different... Uh, you know, two different characters, opposing personalities. Sticks and Arkyla are working together, but they don't agree with each other at all. And so when you have that, it's more difficult to, you know, coordinate things. And I think they did a good job of making sure that these characters interact separately. And yes, they can work together in a battle, but they really kind of do things their own way. Let's look at the map. I'm not supposed to go that way, right? Yeah. Go around. Uh, what was that? Go left. Is that where I'm going? Yeah. Right. On the map, I guess. Yeah. Um, 
Anyway, it, it makes sense to me that they would have different combat styles. And unlike in some games, and please don't misunderstand me. Um, in Risen 2, for example, I loved that game. Absolutely adored that game. So great. So well done. But you're playing the Nameless Hero. And if you have an NPC with you, say Chani, or you have, you know... You know, whoever. You have Patty, you have, um, you know, uh, Bones, whatever. Any any of those other characters, right? You can't really control them. I mean, not even with an a, like an intelligent AI setting. Like, I can't say, hey, Bones, I want you to do more of a defensive attack or defensive posture or something. I can't do that. I don't have that option. And that's something that's unfortunate uh, that, you know, not more games do that. I think having more control over multiple things without getting... That's nice and glitchy. That little up there on the the wood post beam. It's like all wigging out. <laughs> anyway, uh, not. I don't want it to be... Uh, I don't necessarily think these other games need to change what they've been doing. I'm just saying, because I don't really think that's true. I think that's fine. They're, they're totally fine as they are. I just am saying that I think that games that <sighs> tend to... There's a guy over there. Uh, games that, and there's somebody here, are these, these are just peasants, or are these actual guys I have to fight? I don't know, let me save it just in case. Um, anyway, I'm just saying that I think, you know, I don't want to micromanage everything, but at the same time, it would be nice to have a little more control, kind of like the World of Darkness games from early, late 90s and early 2000s, right? Like you had... Uh, Vampire the Masquerade and you had va- uh, Redemption and then you had Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines each of those games uh, so we'll take care of the guys over here okay Arkale come to here uh, each of those games had uh, an AI setting you could use to basically uh, you know tell your you know one of the characters Okay, in the future, you're going to do it this way, or whatever. And I think... I don't know how I'm going to take this guy out without the other one seeing. I think they're both going to see. Let's do this, then. I'll come over here. Assassinate you. And then get ready. Oh, wow. Ha, he was out of line of sight, so he didn't see. Nice. Okay. So now I can assassinate this guy. Anyway, uh, you could you could say you go defend. Oh, I don't want to do this yet. And he's gonna see the other guy, maybe, huh? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be revealed or not. And you go over here, Arkyle, just in case. Um, are they smart or nope? They didn't even notice. <laughs> I guess the assumption is I would have dragged the body somewhere. I don't know. That's a good assumption, but I guess that must be it because take you out now. Anyway, um, you have a little more control, and so it's nice to be able to tell the game, hey, I want this character to be defensive, I want this character to use these powers, and so on. And they did a really good job, I thought, in uh, Redemption and also in Bloodlines for the vampire games. I didn't. I actually never finished Bloodlines, but I did play through it a little bit. So that actually might be a let's play I'll do at some point in the future because I really enjoyed that game. And you might see more what I'm talking about, and you might be annoyed by that system. But I, I like that system a lot because of the, just like I said, of the control it gives you. It's, it's more difficult for me in a game where the AI is going off doing, you know, whatever it's programmed to do, which is all fine, except for... The fact that um, by doing whatever it is that it wants to do, or whatever it's programmed to do, it's choosing actions that aren't necessarily what I would consider the best at that point in the game. So, stop. Oh, he's in his mode too. Ah, dang it. I still can hate that mode. How can I pause? Hang on. Cancel this. There. So I can do it that way. I couldn't figure it out previously, right? In a previous episode, 
I couldn't figure out how to cancel once I told him to assassinate. Now, I can, right? Uh, anyway, yeah, so I think you guys get it. You guys understand what I'm saying. And I, I'm, you know, I'm not strongly opinionated necessarily one way or the other on certain things, but I just, I sometimes wish that it were more, uh, dang it, he saw me. Is anybody else coming? Probably. Well, let me pause. Pause. Okay, Arkale. Beat him to a pulp. Go one, two, uh, hang on, let's do one, five, two, one on him. And you can be stabbing in the back. I don't know why I'm having you sit around. That doesn't make sense. One, one, uh, seven, one, not seven. I don't want seven. What's this one? Six is low below. I cancel it. Six. Six. One. Okay. Our kale. You hit him with a five. And one, four, two. And sticks. You are going to attack him with four, five. Uh, you got crossbowmen. So really what I want to do is change this up. Hang on. Pause. Cancel yours also. Okay, you are going to do a sweep. One. And then five. Yeah, five, four. And, our or, and then sticks. You are going to attack him with four, five, four, five. You do another sweep, which is what? Three, I think? Yeah, three. One. Okay. Uh, do two, one. Raged him. Interesting, okay. Six like the only one able to maintain control at this point. Oh, oh, I want to stay away from our Kyle. He's raging. Phew. Okay, Arkyle. <laughs> I can control you, finally. So let's calm down now. All right. Let us give you uh, more agility, I think. Just a little bit, so you're not getting hit quite as much. Yeah, it's fine. And you... Uh, Dodge. Let's give you more agility also, I think. Eh. Physical damage. Let's give you a little bit more damage, I guess. We'll do that. Yeah. Okay, and then skills. What do you have available? 50 more life. Or 50% chance of destabilizing. 25% chance of stunning. Can I get one of these yet? No, I'm not nine yet. What am I? I'm level eight. Those are both nine, right? This one... What? Oh, no. I can do this one also. Restores 30 life points. So now, next time I do that, I can get an upgrade. That's good. So one, two, three... Well, I can decide that in a second. Okay. So now we'll go to sticks... Same, and this is stealth. Get even closer without being detectable. Detected. 
Can I not get that? Oh, I've already got that, so it's not upgradable yet, I see. Uh, let's do... Can I upgrade this? I don't know if I can. Let's try the... What's this? Nine required level... I could do this one. What's this? Beard trim? <laughs> uh, move 75% chance of destabilizing the target. I like that, but let's see. 25% chance of causing vulnerability. Critical increases concentration by 10. Chance of dodging is no longer in decreased. Wait, what? Concentrates on targets, increases the damage causing, but decreases the dodging ability. Right, so I can stay I can keep stay dodging and not be in trouble. Or I could stun the target possibly. And this is possible to stun the target. Oh. Let's do this first. So the dodging is no longer decreased. So he's not getting hit as much. That's good. This one. Yep. Okay. Okay, and that's it. And then inventory. You've got the Greaves, right? Yeah, Gladiator's Greaves, Champion's Greaves. Six versus five, five versus three. Yeah, definitely use those. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now, check my time. No, it's almost time for this episode, huh? Wow, this went fast. A lot faster than I was expecting, that's for sure. Let's see what else I can find. this door go anywhere? Probably not, right? But I don't know. Okay, you stay here now, dude. I've still got a bit of time. Just not tons of time, right? I don't know if I can even interact with like doors and stuff while I'm stealthy. Maybe I can and then I just come out of stealth when I do. I don't know. I mean, obviously, you can do some interaction because I can assassinate people, but I don't know if that's like about the limit of it or if it goes further. So, so yeah, I, despite the fact that other people disagree with me wholeheartedly, I'm sure, uh, I like the combat system in this game to a degree. I don't know that I'd say I like it better than other systems. It's different. It's different, and I actually like it to that extent. I know, like some people say, they find it boring and whatever. And I, I'm sorry. That's I, I, I'm, I disagree with you, but I do. I can see your perspective definitely. Um, but yeah, but there are definitely flaws in this game that I find too. Like things that I think that they, I mean, something as simple. It just seems like they ran out of time or something to do it, to do the work on it, right? But like something as simple as at least somewhat aligning the uh, the the words that are in the dialogue with the motions of the lips of the character speaking. Right? I just this is like a big open area or what? Maybe. Anyway, um, you know, like I mean, when somebody's laughing, their lips should not be all going like they're talking while they're going. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me, like at all. So that's an aspect I am kind of like Meh, with. It's not it doesn't break the game for me, but it takes away from the experience that could be better. But you know, whatever. Uh, I wonder if I can... Let's do this. Let's save it. Nope. I wonder if I can get around them and then assassinate the crossbowmen up there without them noticing. At least that's one fewer that we'll have to deal with if I can do it. Ah, uh, nope. Well, I'll just go. I'll just go with it. So 
up, buddy? Pause. All right, you clobber this dude right here. Yeah, you hit him. One, two, four, one. And then you pummel him with a bunch of dagger throws. Kale, let's have you do three, one, uh, five, four. Pause. Okay, hit him with uh, five, four, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, definitely pummel him, dude. You're dead, dude. He raged. You're dead. <laughs> Break his back. You're done. Oh, hi. Get away. No, don't attack. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Attack him. Dang it. Stupid Arkyle. Stupid Arkyle with his stupid rage. Right. See you now. See you guys. See, this is why I want him to not be enraged because he goes out of control and he'll he'll hit sticks too. You guys apparently, uh, well, I'm not gonna say that. You guys, I'm sure, are familiar with. Uh, but like in Dungeons and Dragons, in the 3.5 edition of the rules, this is my geek hoods coming out. So just go, so you know. In the 3.5 edition of Dungeons & Dragons, they corrected this, so it's not as extreme because it was basically screwing players over. But in the 3.0 Dungeons & Dragons rules, if a character goes berserk, they're completely out of control and they'll attack anything that's near them, including their own guys. This is the problem with going berserk. So, it's still not the end of the world, it just means that if he goes out of control, I have to be very careful not to get sticks killed. So... That is part of the problem of going berserk all the time. I just want to control a little bit more so he doesn't quite go so psycho all over the place. That was really kind of my thought. But, all right, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do not forget to like the vid. If you dislike this and let me know, please leave a comment or something specific enough that I know maybe something I might need to correct or change. I can't promise I'm going to change it, but I will definitely consider it. And if it's something I think is worthwhile and a good point, I will definitely try to correct that and fix it. So I'll see you in the next part. This has been Let's Play of Orcs and Men Part 9. Thank you for watching. Till next time, peace.